done, and this looks fine. Not optimal, but it looks good. I've got playables. Temple Garden, first play tapped, same play as his last turn. And that's nice. Alright, I like this hand now. This hand looks a lot better. A lot more consistent. Keep this Gilded Drake in case he actually plays something worth stopping. So, turn to Mizawa's Chite. That's pretty nasty. First time I've seen, well, not the first time I guess, but it's been a while since I've seen that card played. Alright, so, pass. Whatever creature he plays this turn, probably get killed. If he actually plays a creature. If not, I'll just play Skirk Marauder. Alright, well. Seems like a good as pl good a plan as any. He's got some kind of lightning keywords. Okay, fair enough. And Pride Mage. Alright, that looks good. I'll let him spend mana equipping his Gta and then attacking before I kill his Pride Mage. Alright. That looks good. Maybe I'll draw a land here. That'd be nice. Nope. I'm gonna go ahead and pass again here. I have time. Control aesthetic needs to be countered. Really the only way to only surefire way to stop that card. Fortunately, I'm gonna get him two cards out of the deal. But at least I drew a land. Two lands. So I'm gonna go ahead and play Mole Drifter. Fill my hand up and pass. If he plays a creature this turn, Shriek Mott, move on. Or not. Don't think. Okay, the Scoot Mob is definitely a target for a Shriek Mob. Then again. Pyroplasm is an option. But no, I think I feel better just shriek mine. Killing the scoot mob and passing. to grab the land, and then what? I didn't play land last turn, I don't think. That's not good. No. 
And here I'm going to cast a Consuming Vapors to get rid of that Obstinate Bayloth. That was a good draw. I just want to keep him off of creatures as long as possible. Three, four, five, six. If I had played a land, I would have been one turn away from playing the Cold Bolus, but unfortunately, I forgot. So, I'm just going to go ahead and rebound, cast that on him, it's not going to do anything, and I'll attack again. Ooh. That's quite good. Let's see what he's got. He's waiting for something to happen. Stagger shock. Alright, I guess here, let's go ahead and play a Chase the Mind Sculptor. And let's go ahead and get myself out of Bolt range. Mm, no. I'll let him draw a mountain. It's not going to matter soon. Not once I play Nicole Bolas. Alright, so, um, Kitchen Finks, interesting, he gains two off of that, and, plays Pithing Needle, that's depressing. I guess I'm going to Jace the Mind Sculptor, and then, well, at least I'll have let's see, what are my options? I'll have to determine my options later. Alright, so go here So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One thing I can do is play Nicole Bolas, destroy the Pithing Needle, bounce the Kitchen Finks. That sounds good. Pithing Needle is gone. And then I'll return the Kitchen Finks. Yeah, that's fine. I'll return it to his hand. Let him spend time recasting it. I'm not particularly concerned about any of that. Definitely not with the Nicole Bolas out and ready. This is a nice Planeswalker battle. So, as he replays the Finx or something else, something bigger, it looks like. Triskelion. To kill. No, he can't kill the Jace. So, what's the point of that? Can't kill either of my Planeswalkers, so he'll just be. Sort of stumbling over himself. So let's rend flesh on that. Let him choose which creature he wants to pound on. 
can see he, re he redirects his damage too. The cold bolus. So yeah, he put me back a turn on the cold the, on the the uh, the cold bolus. But otherwise, oh, he didn't redirect his damage correctly. So he didn't put me back an entire turn. All right, let's kill the GT. And we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's see what we do when we brainstorm. Okay, nothing. So let's go ahead and play Steel Hellkite. Next turn, unless he can hurt the Nicole Bolas, he's basically dead. And that'll be the card that wins. All right, he's gonna he's giving me the good the good game signal. I like that. Drops the acidic slime. Nice. Kills the Hellkite. That's that's painful. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. One thing I can do here is let's see pyroclasm to kill the slime. Then ultimate with a cold bolus to make him lose everything he's got. And then brainstorm with Jace. And let's drop a top. Not that the top is really especially relevant at this point. And not that there's really anything relevant at all about this game, because he can't he can't come back. Anything he plays will get destroyed by the Nicole Bolas. Alright, so nothing on his side. I mean actually the biggest danger to me currently is just losing to I don't even know why I did the top. That's that was useless. The Jace at the same time out on the board. Okay. So let's put that on the top, that on the top, and that on the top. And let's brainstorm with the Jace. A bit excessive at this point. Uh See, grab the Shadow Mage, play that out. Let's see, three, six, nine. Let's go ahead and kill our own land. Just to pump up the, the Cold Bolas, in case I need to ultimate to use his ability at some point. Alright, that works. Now at least I have a target. So, the Avenged is one of those guys who never gives up when he should. So he's going to make me play this game out like last time. So let's go ahead and draw a card. Brainstorm. Firebolt looks good. So does Blightning. Let's go ahead and cast that. Then again, let's wait until next turn when we get better value out of it. Not that, like I said before, not that it matters. But he's dead next turn with Firebolt, Prophetic Bolt to the face, I think. So that's four, five, six, seven. No, not quite. Oh, and then, yeah, Blighting. That'll do it. All 
All right, so let's go ahead and blightning. He discards all of those. And then let's see, one, two, three, four, five. Unfortunately, I don't have another red source unless I draw one here. Let's see. No. Let's just go ahead and attack. And let's drop. So I'm saying, okay, maybe he's going to concede now. All right, so he did concede, and that's the game. So I unfortunately I pressed enter right when that happened. So anyway, that's the cube draft, and the deck won this time. So that's surprising, and it did quite well. So thanks for watching.